And happening now, a massive crowd downtown for this year's Indie Pride Festival. Gina Glara shows us the action-packed parade that kicked off this weekend's activities. Tens of thousands of people coming out to Mass Ave for Indy's Pride Parade, followed by the Festival of Fun Day, but it also took on a much bigger meaning. Out of adversity comes growth, and so many people come out to support us. And year over year, it's more about families, it's more about just everybody coming together. Families like Jaron and Tyler Lincoln. For us, it brought us together in our marriage, and then we have our one-year-old now, so... I wouldn't change anything about it with the love and support that we have from our family and friends. Little ones like their son Henry, businesses, IMPD, the Indianapolis Fire Department, plenty of four-legged friends, and our team at WTHR showing their pride. Indy Pride selecting the parents of transgender youth for this year's Grand Marshals. At least 25 families in this parade like the Claussens. Being here is really special to us. It's so nice to be able to celebrate with our friends and community as opposed to being worried about the, the attacks and how we're going to handle them. The Claussens have been advocating against legislation at the State House impacting their transgender daughter, Karen, the 10 year old feeling the support at the parade. It's really nice. Like, I, I think not just I need it, but every trans kid in this community needs it. A longer parade route this year and more participating. The first parade that we ever did, we didn't have any money, so we were playing drums on trash cans, right? So we've really come a long way, and not only have we come a long way as an organization, but the parade has come a long way. The pride of indie bands witnessing the growth firsthand after getting its start 18 years ago. There's music, there's fun, it's just fantastic, we love it and centered around acceptance. It's a really lovely feeling right now. Gina Galeros, 13 News.